Hi there, once again welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing dripping effects in Photoshop. So stay tuned for this and remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. Also, if you are new to this channel, then welcome. 2022 is going to be so amazing. I'm going to have several contents and you don't need to miss any of this. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video tutorial. So let's jump right into action and then we'll see how we can create this dripping effects in photoshop so there's my image and i'm going to show you how to get this dripping image at the end of this tutorial and then also the sparkle that's the brush that i use for the background this sparkle brush i'm going to show you how you can get this as well so stay tuned for this so let's jump into action and then we see how we can create this amazing drip effect in order to do this we first need to create our background so i'll go to file and i'll go to new and then you can set the background size to any size you want but i'm going to set it to 20 by 20 inches my resolution is going to be 300 my background is going to be white and i'm going to change it to gradient as well but for now i'll just click on what create so i'm going to get a white background and in order to get a gradient you can just double click after clicking just go to ok and then this time around when you double click it's going to open the layer panel for you so if I double click on this layer, it's going to give me this layer star. So with this layer star, I can select gradient. Okay, you see I can select gradient from here. And with this gradient selected, I'll pick a gradient of my choice. Okay, so I'll just select from my list and pick any gradient. And I'm cool with this. But if you check the gradient, instead of using linear, I'm going to use radar. Okay, so I'm going to use radar gradient. You can also use uh the reverse and all whatever you want to do but i'll stick to the radar this way and the scale is here you can change it to whatever size you want we have 150 and i'll switch it to 150. the alignment and every other thing will be as it is and i'm going to leave it and then i'll click on ok so from here we need to bring our image the image we're going to use we need to bring it so i'm going to search for my image I think if I go to download, I have my image over that I'm going to use. I have image that you can use any of your images. So I'm going to drag this image onto my Photoshop. And this image is already having a transparent background. You can see I can move this image around. If you want to learn how to edit video, how to remove background, then let me know in the comment section so i'll create a video on that even though i have a video on that it's no more it's not a detailed video but i can show you how to do that so leave that at the comment section i can show you how to remove this background so basically if it's a transparent background you can even use your quick selection tool or magic wand to to delete the background but in this case i have my background deleted i'm focusing on the dripping effect so i'm going to drag this image on top of my layer and then just drop it over there and then i'll drag it out in order to increase the size of this image okay when this is okay when this is if you're okay with the size you can hit the enter key or just select button over here so i'm going to hit the enter key and then i have this image right here on my background the next thing i need to do is i want to just brighten this image a bit so i'll go to filter and i filter I'll go to camera raw filter and then i'll add a bit of smoothing and then some color to my image and then it will appear to be a bit brighter and smoother so i'll allow this to open and then and i'm basic i'll go in, i'm going to increase the temperature a bit give it some exposure i'll give it some bit of exposure contrast a bit and then i'll go close the basic and then under details i'll increase the sharpness to around 40 okay i'll increase to around 40 the noise reduction I'll reduce it to around 25 or can you just go ahead and type your figure there so i'll just type 25 there and under color noise reduction i also put it around just five okay and i think this is perfect as i want and then i'll click on okay so you can see it's going to load this and then give me the effects that i've applied to this image okay so let's wait for this to apply to our new image you can see our image appear to be brighter now the next thing we need to do is to bring our effect okay so we're going to bring our drippy effect and i'm going to select it i'll go to downloads and there's my drippy effect i'll also drag it onto my photoshop this way and then this is my drippy effect i cannot move it on top of my image okay so this is my drippy effect i'll enlarge it to cover my image where i want to apply the dripping i will 
drag it across this size and then that is good if you're okay with where you've covered you can just hit the enter key or click on the check icon over here to apply this so we first need to add layer marks to our main image so with my image selected you go to the bottom and then the first icon over here you click and then add a layer marks to this after adding layer marks to your main image at your layer section hold down control and then select your dripping it's going to highlight it this way and then come back to your main image select it and then hit delete on your keyboard after pressing delete go back and turn the eye icon on your dripping tool and then you should be getting something like this then control d to deselect the selection that you've around the drippy face so you can now see we can now move this around so this is how to add the dripping effect we've applied this to the image and then this time around we're going to now add we're now going to add the sparkles around it then we're going to use a brush to do that so i've already added the sparkle but i'm going to show you how you can add the photoshop brush sparkle so when you go to your brush you click on your brush from the two icon this way select your brush you can just go where you have the gear icon and then go to import okay then you import that brush i have it over here that's a splatter okay that's a splatter you, i'll show you how you can get this and at the end of this video i'll show you how you can get that so i've already installed this and this is what is selected that is my splatter brush and i'm going to create a layer below this butterfly image so i'm come to my new icon just below my layer section click on that so i'll drag it below my image and then this time around i can click below this image and it's going to add what a sparkle so you can see it has added a white sparkle to that I'll click around wherever i want it and it will give me the white sparkle but i can just double click on the layer and then that will change the background color so if i go back to color value and select that you can see the color is changing but i want to pick a color of my dress so i'll just select the color and then with the eyedropper to select it, i'll just pick a color for my shirt this way and then it's going to apply it around the image okay so you can see i've been able to add this effect just below my image you can move it around because it's on a separate layer so basically this is how to add the splatter brush how to apply it once you select you can change the color to anything you want and then this effect can also be updated and then applied to your image i'm going to have several photoshop and tricks right here on this channel so stay tuned for that and remember to subscribe to this channel don't don't forget to turn on the notification bell so i'm going to leave a link to this particular drippy effect this or you can also go to google and then search for drippy effect png the background is going to be transparent or something like this and then right click and then download this image and you can use it okay and you can also search for the splatter brush as well but as my fans i'm going to show you how you can get this i'm going to leave a link at the description of this video so you can download this particular dripping effect and also i'm going to show you how you can get the splatter brush and then also use it as well thank you so much for watching this short tutorial till i come your way again stay tuned and stay alert and remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to also turn on the notification bell till i come your way again bye bye